welcome back to Higher Self Wellness with Alec Hurley. Ah, so it's Thanksgiving week. Thanksgiving is tomorrow. And I'm coming at you today with just a couple of tips I have that I will be applying myself so I can cruise through the holiday with grace, with flow, with ease, and with connection as well. So before I share those few tips, uh, just if you haven't, I'd appreciate if you could leave a review and in the heart of the spirit of the holiday this week, uh, it'd be a great way to show some appreciation and gratitude for the show and it'll only take you a few moments. Thank you to those who have left reviews. I really do appreciate it. It lets me know that you know, you're enjoying the show. And that's another great way just to interact. You can always shoot me an email if you have questions or if you'd like to hear more about something. That'll be alec at higherself.yoga. And yeah, I like talking about this stuff. So building interaction, building connectivity. And that's what I want to talk about today is connectivity. Because it's easy to go through the holiday season with a little bit of extra stress and overwhelm and anticipation. And when we show up to our family gatherings or with friends or with loved ones, that prevents a lot of connection and a lot of possible connection we can have with those. And so how do we deepen our connection to those who we're choosing to spend our time with? Well, it begins with Connecting to ourselves and being comfortable with ourselves and I like to I like to phrase this as like being at home in your body and When you're at home when you're at peace with your body, then we can just show up with a little bit more ease and a little bit more sense of presence So connecting with others being at home in our body A couple of, it was uh, the episode I released actually on Monday was that about gratitude. And I got to speak with uh, Dr. Patty Halava. And coming back to appreciating the subtle moments, those little moments, those little tiny moments, that opens up our ability to become grateful and to experience that more expansiveness of gratitude. So appreciating every moment, no matter how challenging it can be, just appreciating that, okay, here I am, I'm breathing, I'm present. (sighs) It allows us to come back home a little bit easier and to just rest in our body with a little bit more ease. So connecting with others. It's real easy to to think back to like past situations and past challenges that we've had with other people, even if we are, if it was years ago or weeks ago, however long, it's, it's easy to hang on to that type of stuff. And that can really shape our experience we have when we, when we, you know, be around others. If we have a difficult family member or something along those lines, like it's real easy to show up anticipating like, oh, yep, yeah, well, you know, so-and-so is going to be there and, you know, it's going to be real hard and I hope they don't hope they don't cause a ruckus. And that's just the mind. That's just the mind doing what it does of remembering and relating. And it's this it's this thing of comparing like, oh, I hope it doesn't go as bad as last year. Or I hope Uncle Jake doesn't doesn't eat all the cake. I want some of that cake. He doesn't share. (sighs) So a couple of tips that I have that I definitely have used over the over the past few years just to become more at ease, no matter what situation I find myself in, not even just family situations like I love my family and, you know, we have a good time together and It's more so I use these when I show up around people that I don't know. And it's a way to really turn down and relax the nervous system. Because when our mind starts going, 
it's easy for our nervous system to get reactive and then that can build up anxiety and just based on anticipating like I hope everything goes smoothly I hope people like me I hope my clothes look okay how does my hair look and so on and so forth the mind starts doing all these things but we can keep that in check and we can also tone it down a little bit number one by acknowledging that that's just what the mind is doing the mind is trying to keep you safe it's trying to keep you comfortable and a lot of the times these situations aren't very comfortable and so that's where these two tips really come in and the first tip I have is something that we do throughout our entire lives most of the time is unconscious and that is to breathe breathing it's one of the most fundamental and fast ways to really change our state and I spoke about this last week about Apanavayu and how Apanavayu is that downward flow of energy and it's essentially the exhale of the body and what this does is it helps to ground us it brings the energy down and into the ground below us this helps us feel supported when we slow down our exhale it allows us to rest and to kind of settle into that downward flow and when we lengthen the exhale even if it's just slightly longer than the inhale this helps the nervous system calm down this signals to the body that okay I'm fine I can rest I can relax and what this does is it helps open ourselves up to then receive the subtle the subtleties and the personalities of everybody around us and to really connect with them and be present rather than reactive we enter the state of being able to respond rather than well react and this is very helpful especially around the holiday for tomorrow Thanksgiving because we're probably going to be eating more food than what we would need and if you're eating more food than you need your digestion needs to be on point so you can then process digest receive all the nutrients and breathing comes in to help this as well because when the nervous system is reacted when the mind is reacted the digestion shuts down because you're in a reactive state of activation and like okay I need to go I need to move away and I need to use that energy for other things in the body like having energy to move and get away and get out of this conversation and get to safety because it's uncomfortable when we breathe the nervous system rests the digestion is allowed to function properly and it has all the energy it needs to then break down all this delicious and nourishing food so taking time to breathe and really focusing on the exhale and it doesn't have to be anything dramatic but each time you remember you could be on the couch or even helping prepare food in the kitchen or even driving but each time you remember to breathe, like really accentuate, focus on the exhale. Even while you're eating, when you're at the dinner table, when you are scarfing down your scrumptious, your scrumptious food and whatever that looks like for you, taking time to breathe, taking a few breaths in between each bite rather than just shoving it all down and immediately going for seconds like open up space open up some time to really receive the food enjoy the food enjoy the taste the flavors and while you're enjoying that remembering to breathe remembering to exhale and this will also open up space for connectivity and conversing with those who are around you you know really listening into what they're saying what are they trying to relate to you are they trying to connect with you in their own way with their own abilities and maybe that's slightly uncomfortable or a little bit awkward and taking the time to breathe and notice what their intentions are you can sense the energy behind their words and that just deepens the connectivity between everybody
So I'm going to leave it at that. Tomorrow, remember to breathe during your travels, during your preparation, your relaxation, like just remembering to breathe and accentuating the exhale. That's just going to help out tremendously. And just notice, notice how it feels different. Notice how maybe people respond to you differently when, when you are nice and relaxed. Or maybe you invite this practice into your friends and family or whoever you're spending time with tomorrow. Maybe you invite this, be like, hey, before we start eating, can we all take five slow breaths together? And just notice the difference. And then eating slowly, taking time to really enjoy the food, enjoy the flavors, enjoy all that hard work and love that was infused into your food during the preparation of it. Appreciating who was involved with making your food, who was involved with growing your food, who was involved with transporting that food to the grocery store where you purchased it. So take time to breathe, people. Eat slowly and enjoy it. And... I look forward to hearing from you, reading your reviews, and again, shoot me an email. I'd love to hear from you. And most importantly, I appreciate you being here, listening, taking the time, tuning in, and exploring what it takes to live a life in balance, a life in flow, and a life in connection to yourself and to those around you. On that note, enjoy your day. Happy holidays. 